Hello folks and welcome back to the Bluegrass Songbook. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself so far. Um, this uh, video is not going to be about a certain song. It's actually about uh, Bluegrass in South Florida. I know some of your folks from uh, around the country, maybe even around the world, never even knew that they would have bluegrass down in sunny South Florida. But um, I want to give you a little background of, uh, from what I know, of bluegrass in South Florida. Um, we, the South Florida Bluegrass Association is where uh, I currently play and my family has played for oh, between 20 and 30 years now, I think. And um, it's, sta it's um, stationed out of North Miami Beach. Um, the current festivals are Grenells Park in North Miami Beach, um, the first Sunday every month. And we have a big, you know, pretty decent sized bluegrass festival each month with the local bands, five or six local bands. And uh, we enjoy it a lot. Um, like I told you in videos before, um, I'm born and raised in bluegrass music. My grandfather and my father were in Crossroads Bluegrass, a pretty popular band down in Florida. And um, they played together for many years, um, traveling the bluegrass circuit here in South Florida and uh, up to Arcadia and, and all sorts of places in Florida and, and Georgia as well. And um, it's, like I said, South Florida Bluegrass Association is one of the country's oldest nonprofit organizations. Um, they do a great job. It's totally nonprofit. Folks, they, all they do is try to keep bluegrass music alive, especially here in South Florida, which is a pretty hard task, if you can imagine. Um, I'm also uh, currently the vice president of the South Florida Bluegrass Association, so you know I, I have my hands in a lot of things. But um, I, you know I've been doing this since I was younger. You know I used to grow up and we used to have the festivals at uh, Ives Dairy Park and just in the very very tip of uh, North uh, Dade County. And um, for many years I grew up coming there and seeing you know the likes of the Osmond Brothers from everywhere from the Osmond Brothers to Blue Highway and bands everywhere in between playing at that festival. So. You know, a lot of folks, you know, folks from Kentucky and, you know, Georgia and things like that don't think there's bluegrass down here, but there's, there's plenty of bluegrass. If you want any more information, like I said, go to SouthFloridaBluegrass.com. That's SouthFloridaBluegrass.com, and you can see it there. Also, South Florida Bluegrass has a Facebook. Um, uh, you'll see more YouTube videos uh, shortly from South Florida Bluegrass. And uh, so you can go on and plan your trip to come see us and uh, also the uh, in end of Mar uh, February beginning of March we always have a uh, big giant three day festival it's the Everglades Bluegrass Festival and uh, 2014 will be the same we'll have it I believe it's the last weekend in February which happens to be the first week in March so you can come out and see them we don't we don't have the bands booked yet but every year it's it's a lot of fun three day festival and you get to come down to su sunny South Florida when I'm pretty sure wherever you're from is probably snowing so you get to come down here and hang out on the beach um, the Grascals came last year and they were joking about getting sunburns and things like that. So uh, hopefully you guys can come out and uh, please go to SouthFloridaBluegrass.com and check out it. And they have the full history there where you can read about some of the, the legends who have come to play and how South Florida Bluegrass was formed. So hopefully you enjoy yourself. Um, my personal part of it, um, I play in two bluegrass bands down here. Um, one with my father, Alternative Tradition, where we play... We take bluegrass and country songs and kind of play them, you know, play them our own bluegrass style and play them faster. And we, we like to have a lot of fun with that. And um, that's also with Trey Mullen on guitar and Mark Anton on banjo and uh, my father Charles Mason playing lead guitar. And uh, like I said, we have a lot of fun. And the other band I play in is Southern Shores. Um, that's the song. That's the band where I write most of my songs for. Um, I'm in the band with not only myself, but my brother Sean Mason uh, plays rhythm guitar and. He sings and he's writing some songs to himself. Um, Fritz Kramer is uh, plays mandolin and plays guitar and some dobro now too. And uh, he's also a great songwriter. Hopefully soon you'll see some of his songs on this channel. Um, plays, I mean, sings and plays really well. Um, also in the band are husband and wife duo of uh, Mark Richardson on plays uh, plays banjo and does a great job singing and playing banjo. One of the best you'll ever hear, folks. And um, his wife, who is one of my best friends, uh, Miss Karen Richardson, plays bass and does a beautiful job singing. And um, I, one of the songs I've written is actually for her, so she'll she'll be on the channel shortly singing one of those songs. So uh, and you can see both those bands on Facebook. So you go on Facebook and search Alternative Tradition or Southern Shores, and you can see us on there. Also, Southern Shores has some videos on YouTube along with these videos we're playing for my songs. So if you want to see that, you can go there. Anyways, if you guys want any more information, you can contact me on the YouTube channel or the Facebook channel, and hopefully see you back in the next episode.